Okay, welcome to game two. Match counts one and oh, or if we're saying it from our perspective, oh and one. Hookers grab that first game. <laughs> Cameras are live. So we have a. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, you can see it. It's on. Uh, it's on twelve down there. So Gary, Gary's gonna shoot first. He is in home team. And then he, he is a thirty footer. Now, I don't know why they have the, the cover. On the walkway, right next to the pitcher. But Gary also said something. He made mention of my tripod. And I told him, I says, you want it moved? I'll move it. Just just say the word, it's gone. And I, I says, I says, there's no way to no no other good place to move it. So I'll literally take it away and won't record the game. It's up to you. You let me know if it's in the way. So look at that. Earl starting. Girl starting like a madman. <laughs> so I did. That's a uh, Gary and Earl, and then left on left left hand side. We have Bobby C shooting a uh, almost dead shoe. There we go. And we already we already need our weasels. Does that look like it slid a uh, foot and a half maybe? But a foot and a half slide is stupendous. <clears throat> That's what you want to do. That's what you want to do with these stakes that are straight up and down with no lean. You have to uh, you have to stay in front of the stake and hit it low. <clears throat> This is not a this is not a uh, stake set up on any of these pits to be aggressive. So that's uh, Bobby C and then Tanner is the one on the left. Bobby C shooting against Tanner. They are a four man team, just like we are tonight. So you won't see anybody subbing in and out. This is uh, what you saw in game one, and here in game two is what you get. They'll just mix it up a little bit as far as who pitches who, and they even that set up. Um, we have a pitching schedule on our score sheet. If anybody, anybody that uh, doesn't have it, hasn't seen our score sheet yet, and would like me to include that in some following videos, um, just let me know. <clears throat> yeah. That's just that's just give back to uh, Earl's double. <clears throat> and Earl, Earl, guess what, buddy? You pulled a quicksilver because you shot a double and then followed it up with an open pit. Congratulations to the world of quicksilver. You, Earl's watched our, my videos, so he's well aware of... Uh, what a quicksilver is pulling a quicksilver and tonight he found firsthand that he's a perpetrator he's a perp <laughs> one they go come on by see Bobby C shooting uh 25 percent one out of four I'm not going to keep track of it. I'm just, I know he had one on and it's just easy to track. So, so thank you, Gary, for putting some of that uh, material in front there. They did um, dig up the pits 
but uh, we had some practicing on them and then uh, we just bashed everything down again. <clears throat> so 19 and 9, and that's that is a tight point closed. Wow. Yep, yep. <clears throat> and right now, Earl is shooting 50%. He's got he's got to keep us in the game with this one. He's got to put one on. And he covers it, so we're alive. We are alive. He'll be going back into Bobby C's hands unless he knocks that off. Why did I just say that? Oh my god. Oh. Because at, at the last second, at the last second, I looked down and I'm like, wow, that shoe's open. And that's why I said that. Or if he knocks it off. So I didn't, I didn't know exactly how that game ended. Because I was pitching on the other side and I wasn't paying attention to what they were doing. I just, I just know that, uh, that they did lose. That's all I know. All right, so we'll stop there. Um, it's a pretty quick game. Sorry for that. I know you guys, uh, some of you guys like the longer games, but uh, hey, look at this way. Now you can uh, run and go do uh, game three. Check out how we did. Thanks a lot.